In the latest episode of Dragon Ball Super, it showed that Goku has a long way to go before mastering Ultra Instinct, but he's still able to do this. Kefla stood no chance, they were playing her up so much, but really, as soon as Goku got Ultra Instinct, it was over. She put all her power into this, and all it did was graze Goku's hair. But even as powerful as Goku was in this episode, there were still some questions thrown up when he was fighting Kefla. One example is when they were fighting hand to hand. Kefla couldn't keep up with Goku, but whenever Goku Goku got the final impact, it doesn't knock her out. Goku sends her flying through rocks, but she gets straight back up and even says to Goku that his punches are weak. And they actually go as far to explain this as best they can. Whis says that the reason a lot of Goku's attacks were inadequate was because in that instant he was attacking, his mind was focused on that, and that's not what true instinct is. So basically, it's a more complex way of saying Goku hasn't mastered the form yet. And they say that in time, if by the end of the tournament he can master it fully, that is when Universe 7 has the best chance of winning. Now also in this episode, something incredible happened. Jiren woke from meditation. As soon as Goku and Kefla powered up, Jiren stopped meditating and his eyes opened. He joined his team and they pretty much asked him, are you interested in Goku again? Jiren didn't reply, but the answer is pretty obvious. And if I didn't know it was going to be going down in the next few episodes, I would be thinking that Jiren would walk over to Goku's injured body and knock him out right now. That would be their rematch with Jiren playing it smart. Because after after his fight with Kefla, Goku is weakened, but we see in the next episode preview that it's Universe 2 that sees that Goku's injured, and they're the ones who try to get on that, not Jiren. Jiren sees that Goku reawakened a power that was able to push him further than anyone in this tournament, and there is still no sign of him wanting to throw Goku out. You have to understand that Goku is his only threat, everyone else can see that. Even Frieza in this episode was happy that Goku won, because he wants Goku to keep fighting for him. It's turning into a situation where Jiren right now is just observing. Goku. And honestly, that's another mistake. It's one thing to see Goku injured and beaten down and just forget about him, but to see him not only use Ultra Instinct again, but progress with the form, the more time he has with it, the better he gets. That is his second mistake. He may be able to get away with it right now, but if he keeps giving Goku these lifelines, he will just be like everyone else, he will lose. I don't want to say Jiren's not intelligent, because he looks like he'd be really smart, and he obviously has to be smart enough to get to where he is right now, but how many times does Goku have to break his limits before Jiren recognizes it as a threat? If he walks up to Goku right now after episode 116, there would be nothing he could do. Jiren would guarantee a Universe 11 win, but for now, he's only watching, and that's where a lot of the criticism comes in for Jiren and his character. He can be this really cool guy who's really strong and can do anything, but a lot of the time, it's just him watching, observing, meditating. Everything we saw in the latest episode implies that Goku can beat Jiren. It's a small chance, but it is possible, and with Jiren just handing out free lives for Goku, it looks like that is what it will come down to, Jiren's multiple mistakes. Anyway, that's my take on the latest episode. Also, aside from that, Universe 6, now down to two fighters, the two Namekians. I was so interested to see what Jiren was going to do after seeing Goku's power again, but he was nowhere to be seen in the next episode preview, and he didn't do anything that important in the episode. It was Ribrian and Universe 2. My guess is that Jiren is just going to step back into meditation, and after seeing Goku use Ultra Instinct for the second time, that would be another mistake. You don't give Goku that many chances to come back. I want to thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next Dragon Ball video.